Gabby, a beautiful night taking shape. We've got clear skies from the mountains to the coast yet again. One of those days where you'd be hard pressed to find a single cloud in the sky. Greenville, Spartanburg, both at 54 degrees with lots of sunshine. Look at Anderson showing off at Lake Hartwell right now. It's 54. Asheville's at 53. Notice almost all of us at the same temperature from the southern part of the upstate to the mountains of North Carolina. And that's because our wind is relatively calm. There's not a big change in temperatures from the higher elevations to the lower elevations uh, compared to yesterday where we had 30 40 mile per hour wind gusts that brought the wind chill value way down. So tonight we'll feel better, but it's going to be cold area wide. We're down to 25 in Asheville, 27 in Spartanburg, 29 in Anderson and check out Greenville 32 degrees. Other areas even in the outlying areas like Lawrence Union Greenwood. You're all in the 20s with Gaffney at 25, so it's going to be a cold night taking shape and as we go hour by hour tomorrow, it's still going to be a chilly day. We're way below where we should be by almost 10 degrees. However, we are getting warmer. It'll be about five or six degrees warmer than today. So we're little by little getting out of this cold snap, but it's been a pronouncement for sure. Asheville to Hendersonville. It'll be near 60 degrees tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, a beautiful night for Friday night football games as the playoffs kick off for many. It's going to be chilly though. So the high is 60 or 61 degrees, but as soon as that sun goes down at those ball games, you know it's going to get cold very fast. Let me show you the big picture here going into the weekend sunshine both days. It's going to be a gorgeous weekend weekend just significantly cooler than we had last week because we're walking around in shorts and t-shirts, right? Well, here we go with uh, Monday. Our southerly winds really ramp up, so a pronounced warm up coming our way from the 70s, even the upper 70s possible by midweek as we await a couple of different fronts that unfortunately do not look to bring us the rain that we need. Yes, there could be some rain, but mainly confined to the mountains. There's a front comes through on Thursday that looks to bring in some slightly cooler air by this time next week. However, it does not look to bring us much rain. Spotty sprinkle, spotty shower here or there, but no appreciable rain. The temperature trend, though, shows we are going up from here. 60 tomorrow, 70 on Saturday. We're in the 70s by the weekend. With our average high being 67, it's going to feel a lot different around town. The temperature outlook, though, as we look deeper into the forecast, late next week, again, pushing the mid to upper 70s. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody gets close to 80 degrees next week. And as we look deeper into the forecast, it gets us all the way to mid month looks to be above average as well. So yes, we do have this cool down now, but as a whole, we look to be just above where we should be going into mid month. So tracking the tropics pretty clear and calm across the Gulf and the Atlantic. You go down toward the Caribbean right here. We do have a cluster of activity moving towards Central America right now. It's running out of time to form into a named tropical system that chance at about a 20% now, but nonetheless flooding rains are possible for parts of Nicaragua. All right, the four day looks like this. Another freezing morning tomorrow that will officially end the growing season across much of the area. Saturday and Sunday back to the low 70s with low temperatures cold in the 30s. Cold mornings, warm afternoons will be the theme and looking deeper at the forecast into next week. Clouds build and temperatures build as well. We're pushing 80 degrees by Wednesday. That front brings us back down to near 70, but that's it. Western North Carolina, same story, just colder. Upper 20s to 30s going into the weekend.